Hi, I'm Allie and welcome to Haven's Kitchen. Today we're going to talk a little bit about cookware. When we talk about cookware, it's not about having the most pots and pans. It's about having high quality tools that will help you feel really confident. So you know that no matter what you're going to be making, you're going to be making it in a pan that works for you. My all time favorite, most often used pan is a cast iron skillet. This one happens to be enameled in a beautiful color green, which, you know, I think adds to like my joy, honestly, when I'm cooking and they come in all different colors and then you pick what works for you. The great thing about cast iron is it gets really, really hot. So I find myself searing meat and vegetables, you know, five nights out of seven. And this is the best way to get a really, really good sear. You can also transfer it into the oven. So for example, you sear chicken and then you add in a little bit of broth. You can just put it in the oven to finish the cooking. Transfers really, really easily. And honestly, I think it's beautiful to serve in. So most of the time I just put this on top of a trivet and everyone just kind of digs in. So that saves us some extra pots and pans too. Another pot that I find myself using all the time is my Dutch oven. You can do all sorts of things in here. Anything really from like making rice and beans to making full on stews and soups. It's also really heavy bottomed. You can put this in the oven straight from the flame. It works for everything basically. And it's obviously a showstopper in the middle of a table. This is called a brazier. It's kind of a cross between a Dutch oven and a cast iron, and I use it, you know, as both, essentially. So this is great because it has a cover. So for, let's say you're making farro and you're, you know, baking it with chicken, you can basically sear your chicken, put in your grains, add some broth, cover it, and roast it, essentially, which is a combination of braising and roasting. Great pan. You can also use it to saute things if you need to and not even use the cover. I also love having a large saute pan on hand. This is great because you can just saute vegetables very lightly in it or for things like a schnitzel or tempura, you can fill it a little higher with oil and use it as a fryer. It's nice to have this little hand so that if you're carrying it, you know, it balances out. I also think it's a good idea just to have a little baby frying pan. I like to toast nuts in it, fry an egg. Sometimes after a long day, I just want to heat up some takeout from the night before. This does the trick, super easy cleanup, perfect. Saucepan, super important, makes your rice, makes like, you know, one or two servings of a small pasta. The key to a good saucepan is a tight fitting lid. A lot of times you're really trying to keep the steam in. If your lid isn't tight fitting and steam is escaping, you're not going to get that rice as cooked and fluffy as you want. to have a couple of baking dishes on hand, different sizes. Honestly, you can use this for brownies, but you can also use it to make mashed potatoes and you can use it to do a, like a grain bake. You can roast vegetables in it. It's just one of those things, again, that's really nice from oven to table. I think part of the confidence is just feeling like things look really pretty. And honestly, when you put this on the table with something beautiful in it, it just makes people happy. Lastly, I'm a huge fan of a grill pan. In New York, we can't grill all year long, but that doesn't mean that I don't crave that kind of charred, seared outer crust on my meat and my veggies. 
And that's exactly what you get when you use this. So you can start things off in here and then finish them off in a hot oven, or depending on if they're smaller, you know, like cabbage or, you know, something that cooks pretty quickly, you just cook it right in the grill pan. You get those seared marks, just like you would if you were outdoors at a barbecue. So there you have it. This is the cookware that we find ourselves using the most often and that we like using the most because it makes us feel super confident and joyful in our kitchens. When you're choosing cookware, it's not about quantity. It's not about having 18 different sizes of the right pan. It's about choosing things that are gonna work for you, that are gonna make you feel good and that are gonna last a really long time. So quality, quality, quality. That's the message. All of the cookware that we showed you today are from our friends at Stove and Zwilling. Click the link below for more deets. If you enjoyed this video and you want more tips and tricks, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and cook happy. Yeah.